Uh, so, Maxine, was there something you were wanting to do? Well, because, yeah, I heard Frankie's thing, but announcement that because Wyatt went back. He took off, didn't he? You don't know he that, though. Him? Oh. Okay. You heard Wyatt and Frankie talking to each other that they were going to meet up in the woods. But yeah. you didn't know that Wyatt ran back into town. Right. Okay, I'm just wondering whether... Is there anybody else that we wanted to talk to? It's like going back over... Over the things I was like, there was a few that... Did the only we ever other person you were to... thinking about is Eliza, and you never went to actually talk to her. Because she's at the grocery store? Yes. Or she owns the grocery store, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, I could go over and try talking to her. Okay. Can you move the token so the keeper doesn't lose his mind? We'll move it. But okay. <laughs> Real nice. Okay. So How far away is it? It's not far. Nothing okay. in town is very far away. Um. All right. So you <laughs> head into the grocery you were store. We're here. Now you're here. The furthest point in town is 140 feet. <laughs> that is a fail. I don't need your attitude. Um, Negativity. Okay. Quarantine. Um, let me send you her picture quick. Um, okay. So you head to the store. Um, it's kind of okay. got a modern and eco-friendly grocery store look to it. It has large glass windows that you can see the town through. Uh, the interior is well lit and organized, um, showing like the different fresh produce that they have, local dairy, and some artisanal products as well. Um, Eliza um, is standing behind the checkout counter um, and she's ringing somebody through at the moment. Okay. Right. I'll just kind of browse a little bit until that person has been rung through, I guess. Okay. Check out what's there. All right. So, um, it's just, uh, it seems a little expensive from what you're used to, but you also have to remember that you're in an area Up that north. is very expensive, uh, yeah. to get stuff to, but yeah, um, other than that, it seems like a normal grocery store. Uh, and then, yeah, Eliza finishes what she's doing and gives you the opportunity to go talk to her if you want to. Okay. Okay, so I'll go up to her. Hi. Um is your name Eliza? Um yes. Um Hi. I don't know you. Uh how can I help no. you? No, we're uh we're just new to town, but uh yeah, my name's Maxine, and I've heard from some different people around town that uh, I might want to talk to you. Um, we've kind of Why been looking exactly? into, well, I heard that that your sister is missing. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. So we're, I don't, have you heard about the... The program that we're doing there's a there's a few of us at Nahani Lodge 
and uh, yeah, we're just trying to get more information about, well, your sister, and we've, we actually, we found Elias, and he's in town now, but uh, I yeah, don't I just wanted... want to talk about Dr. Redwood. I don't trust him one bit. Okay. Rachel yeah, vanished what... over a year ago when she was out in the woods with him. He says that they were just taking soil samples and that she wandered off or got lost, but Rachel wouldn't just disappear like that. She was meticulous. Pretty... She was responsible. I talked to him. I demanded answers from him, and he claimed he did everything he could to find her, but I saw it in his eyes. He was guilty. He was evading. He hi was hiding something. I know he's responsible for whatever happened to Rachel. And I can't shake the feeling that he killed her or did something to her out there. Maybe he wanted something from her research. Or maybe there's some dark secret he's hiding. He's a charlatan. And I'm convinced he knows more than he's letting on. So don't talk to me about Dr. Redwood. Great, he's back from no. the woods. Wonderful. Now who is he going to kill? Well... No, that it makes sense what you're saying. He, he, he did seem to be a bit crazy. I will remind you, um, you were specifically told not to bring up Elias with her, and that's what you did. Okay, okay. But can you tell me a little bit more about your sister? Um, like, you know, we would, we would love to be able to talk to her ourselves. It's like there's been a lot of strange happenings around this area. And, you know, yeah, we'd like to get to the bottom of this and hopefully we can help you with your sister. It's, we'll do anything that we can to help, but is there any, anything that you can tell us or, um, yeah, any information you can give us that maybe we could try a different uh, a different path or I, I know you've been very diligent about getting the word out there and trying to get people to look for her and watch out for her because I've seen your posters around town but you know more more eyes you know more feet on the ground type of thing it's like we'll do whatever we can to help is there any anything you'd like to share um, with us it's like well, uh, there's a few of us that are researchers, so we'll we'll do anything that we can to help you. Well, it's been over a year since Rachel disappeared. It's right. starting to kind of all blur together now. Uh, each day is kind of feeling like a cruel echo of the last, and sometimes I still expect her to come bursting through the door with her infectious laughter just filling the room. But she never does. Rachel was always the adventurous one, kind of fearless and determined to uncover the world's secrets. Mm -hmm. I used to make fun of her, calling her the brave explorer, while I would stay home and just relax. But now I'm just... I see memories of her everywhere. Sometimes I even kind of want to take down my posters, but I know that would be bad. The last time I saw her, she was so excited, all telling me all the stories of her latest research trip with Elias. She talked about some weird uh, whispers in the woods or shadows that moved on their own accord, and I kind of just brushed it off. It was usual for her to be this enthusiastic, but now I can't shake the feeling that those whispers or shadows were the harbingers of something even more sinister. Elias Redwood. The name lingers in my mind like a curse, but Rachel trusted him implicitly, saw him as a mentor, a partner in her quest for knowledge. I've always had my doubts about him. There's something about his piercing gaze or his cryptic words that always set my teeth on edge. Now with Rachel gone, I can't shake the feeling that he knows more than he's letting on. I spent countless hours poring over her research, trying to make sense of anything that she talked about but the pieces refuse to fit together it just makes me question things more and i have no answers for those questions 
What was she doing that day? What, what was she trying to uncover? Will I ever see her again? I don't... None of these are... None of these are questions I can answer. So, do you have some of her research? It's all because, online. Like I said, there's... Oh, okay. You don't have anything personal that, like, anything no, that she, she left behind? she didn't or... live with me. She lived in the city. No. Okay. I don't have any of well, her stuff. It was no... She moved away. She was only back for the last couple years. And in that time, she went to the woods. So you said you haven't seen... You've had... Like, there's been no contact or anything? Like, you talked about her hearing whispers and stuff, but you yourself... Because I know others around we town We talked on have... the phone. Okay. We would speak on a regular basis. She's my sister. No, no, I mean since she disappeared. I mean, since she's disappeared, I haven't heard anything. Why okay. would I... Why would I be looking for her if I had heard from her since she's no, disappeared? No, 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 I... No, I understand that, but I'm just saying that it's like sometimes people, we don't see them, but it's like we have some kind of contact, something like, you know, you get a phone call or you get some weird message or from somebody or something. she's somebody dead and a ghost? No, 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 no. I'm, then what are you trying I'm to just say? All I'm saying is sometimes when people disappear... There's a reason for it or whatever. And it's like, I'm not saying, saying she was she's... wanted by the mob. Who knows? No, I'm not saying that, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm just grasping at anything here to, to help you, to, uh, to help you get to the bottom of this. And so that you can find some peace. Cause it looks like you're, well, it's, and rightly so you're upset and I get it. It's, it's, this is a really hard time, especially if you were close. So, but yeah, we're just, we're looking into these strange happenings and we're, we're trying to get to the bottom of it too. Like we, we want to, like, I, yeah, from talking to people around town, it's like, you know, you said that Rachel saw these different things. Other ones, others have seen it too. We've seen some weird happenings around town too. So I was hoping that maybe I could get a little more information from you, but, but, uh, yeah, if we come across anything, we'll be sure to tell you for sure. But yeah, I was hoping that maybe there was something you could tell us or show us or. No, I don't to, have uh, anything. And if I had anything, the police already took it. They have all the information. Right. right. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, well, I thought I would come and introduce myself. And yeah, I've got some other uh, teammates that we're all doing research and we're all trying to to help in this situation. So it's like, just so you know, you're not alone. Like, yeah, we're really trying to help out. But um, if you know, if you hear anything or you can think of anything or you remember anything, You'll probably see us around town, but we are at the Nahani Lodge. And uh, again, my name's Maxine, and it was really nice meeting you, Rachel. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry Eliza. for Rachel's my Eliza, sister. Eliza, sorry, Rachel's your sister. Oh, that was horrible. I apologize, but yeah, it was nice meeting you, and we'll keep our eyes open, and yeah, hopefully we can help you find some answers yeah i hope so. sorry too. if i upset you now unless you're wanting anything have a good day all right bye i don't think maxine should be allowed out of the house <laughs> don't be <laughs> rude. Okay, well, Wyatt just walked away. I was going to go to him next. But we'll go to uh, 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 Frankie. have to go through all of your yeah. names and then I'll get there. Uh, so are, Sue. are you just chilling in the cave waiting for something to happen? Just hanging out. Hanging out. 
Pretty much. I thought I assumed it was later in the day when I actually headed out here. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Little did they know it was one o'clock in the afternoon. Well, I was looking over all of the paperwork for a while. It seemed so like hours. Okay. Yeah, I I understand where you. Yeah. Um. So if I you want, it can it be was... later in the day. That's fine. Why it's gonna yeah, walk so back into the cave? Why it's walking back into the cave? Okay, so why it charged out of the cave and then came back to the cave? If you want, no, it makes more sense. Yeah, it can be like around like four, four or five o'clock. Yeah, that's what I figured because I was gonna go through all that paperwork and then I popped my head into the store, so I assumed it was later in the day. Yeah, no, that's fine. It makes sense. I wouldn't have like gone and like sat out there for like five hours. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why did you pop back into the cave, Wyatt? Wyatt comes walking back in. Change your mind again? Yeah, I, I just had the strangest dream. You ever have those dreams where, like, you know, you, you have a dream and it kind of feels real, and then you realize that it's not real and it's dumb and you shouldn't have been thinking that a dream is real? Um... I guess. Like, let's say you have a dream and somebody says mean things to you and you're kind of upset with that person. Well, that person didn't actually say it. You just had a dream and you can't hold the person responsible for it. If I dreamt that someone said that, they probably said it and I just didn't know. So, uh, I'd probably still do something about it. No. But I'm used to people saying stuff about me. Why would people say mean things about you? I'm not really a ray of sunshine. Not either. If you haven't noticed. Speaking of which, do you want to know a story? Her. Sure. Nobody's here to tell me I can't tell you. <laughs> Go for it. Do you want to know what really happened? Why they really shut everything down? Because somebody died? Oh, oh yeah. You, you could say that. Why it's all getting himself set back up and propped back up. So... My parents used to be on the show. They used to be some of the ones that were gung-ho to find the supernatural. They were bound and determined that it was all real. And they found monsters, all right. It just turns out that monsters are humans. And people are just really bad people. And so they were kind of brutally murdered. People but nobody are... here wants you to know that. Oh, there's probably a reason for that. I'm not supposed to talk about it. I'm sorry. That... That sucks. They tried to get me to some sign some kind of legal paperwork. But <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was a thing to say that you're never, ever going to talk about something. Why would you sign some... How can you... That's... Forever is a really long time. Forever is a long time, but... Sometimes people want to make sure stuff doesn't get talked about. So they try to have you sign something so you can't without them taking legal action against you or whatever. Well, that doesn't Brother. seem fair. It's usually not. But people do it anyway. Don't worry. I've got your back. I'm not gonna let some crazy person come in here and kill you. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I don't on getting killed by a crazy person. 
He is the crazy person. <laughs> that was what I was thinking. <laughs> when he, when he brought like... it up, it kind of sounded like that's what was going on. It was, it's, it's starting to sound like maybe the the girl that everybody thinks is gone isn't really gone. She has this really crazy suit and she's trying to kill people. But I don't think she wants to kill anybody. That's the weird thing. I don't know why, but I just get the feeling that she doesn't want to. I mean, they say trust your gut, so... I'm not here to attack the thing. I'm here under the assumption that the thing is Rachel, and I have questions, and I'm going to attempt to ask them. I Maybe you me. can get her to take her ha ha the, the mask off. If I'm lucky. How are you holding up without your folks, kid? Peachy. Honestly. It's kind of hard. Yeah, it sucks. Everybody leave. So, I think everybody else is going to be taking some time here. So, we're going to jump forward a few hours. Does that work for everyone? Sure. Cool. Hey, Wyatt, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you roll me a hunch? It's sharp in case you don't remember. That's a fail. Okay. You get a feeling like something bad is happening at the police station. You don't know why you're getting this feeling, but you're getting a feeling in your gut that this is not where you need to be. You know how you okay. told me I should trust my gut? Yeah. You mean it? You think your gut's important? Kept me alive this long. Keep that microbiome, well, yo. So... I'm getting a feeling that we're supposed to be at the police station. Not here. At least me. I don't know about you. I just feel like I need to be at the police station. Like something bad's going to happen. That's where they're holding Elias. That's who I had dreams about, right? Yep. Yeah. He's the one that I had the weird dreams about. But I don't want to leave you alone out here. Because I don't want something to happen to you. Because the last time I left people alone, they, they, they kind of died. But I'm not going to get popcorn this time. So maybe that's going to make a difference. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just... I'm going to grab the audio equipment. I'm just going to grab my go bag. Let's go. If you why why don't you leave her a note that says you want to talk to her and that you don't want to mean her any harm and then maybe she'll talk to you that way you know it's worth a shot sure I'll I'm gonna rip a page out of the notebook of hers that I found um, and just scribble like Hey, Rachel, I just want to chat. Frankie. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't even tell you. Did you know that they tried to, that they uh, falsely, as we're, as we're leaving, that they falsely uh, took somebody into custody and lied about what he was doing and tried to steal all his stuff? 
When was and then they the... tried to pretend they were the good guys. Who? Who did this? The lizard guy, Charlie. Yeah, that sounds about right. He wanted me to lie to the police. I told the police what really happened, and they didn't do anything. Sometimes that happens. This is why bad people get to do bad things. So <clears throat> it takes you about you way too much about how the world works for your age. <laughs> It takes you guys a while to get back into town, but once you get there, it's dark out. Street lights are on. Um, and you, I assume you're still not letting people know where you are, but you head oh, to, head toward the sheriff's office. I don't know if you recall in the picture, but outside the sheriff's office, there's street lights. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. As you approach, the street lights begin to flicker. We didn't do that last time. Well, I mean, it's nighttime. It's easier. It's harder to notice in the daytime. I don't trust it. So, because this is a small town police station you are going here um, and there is nobody inside the building other than the one person in a holding cell there's no okay. there's there's only three people who work in this office there's there's not a whole lot of opportunity for for overnight shifts fair as you begin to approach, um, why you get a strange sense of deja vu, I believe it, it's called, because you begin to hear screaming. Oh no! I go running towards the doors. The doors are locked. I'm gonna run after. Frankie, the they're locked. Somebody's screaming. Um, bursting in, I guess. Charging into the fray. Isn't that a move of yours? I don't think so. Like, um, let me double check. No, it's not. No. Oh, actually, yeah. Don't worry, I'll check it out whenever you go off by yourself to check out somewhere or something scary. Mark experience. Actually, technically, that could have been you in the caves as well. Sure, I'll I'll check it out. You'll mark experience. <laughs> um, okay, so you can't get into the building. However, uh, you hear. So it's a little weird how it's set up, but you hear the screaming more coming from the back of the building than anywhere else. Um, is there any way I can try and go around back? Yeah, you can go around back. No problem. Uh, so you go around back, and you kind of see, once you get to the back, there is a window that is slightly ajar. And inside, inside you can see a light flickering above the, uh, yeah, above that window. And the screaming is much louder here. How tall is Frankie? Um, like five something. I don't know. Five, five, maybe. Okay. Yeah, you cannot see through the window other than the light flickering. However, you do see something that you recognize from in the cave. Um, you see the black starting to come up the walls, and it almost absorbs the light. 
Um, we're gonna try this, and it's gonna probably be dumb. Um, but maybe we'll get a reaction. Um, you said the window's partly open, right? Partly, yep. Um, uh, Rachel. No reaction. Uh, I don't really want to break the light. The door. light goes out. Um. How sturdy do these doors look? Like They're... those those front doors. They look steel. They look steel. Frankie, what do you see? I can't see anything. The lights went out. You want to give me a boost? The window gets covered in frost. Here, come here. I come oh, running over. Hoist him up. I can't the see anything. It's all covered in frost. The window is slightly open, so you would be able to see through that. So, you get a slight glimpse as to what's going on. You see the creature. You see ice starting to climb up the walls. And you see... Uh, Elias. You never saw this, I don't think, but Frankie would have seen this. You see Elias slowly being wrapped up in ice. And on top of that, you also see um, the black ice spikes that had damaged Frankie. And I think Charlie as well. I can't remember. You see the black ice spikes starting to protrude from the wall heading towards Elias. He's got some kind of like super ice in there. The the not dry ice. Um the the one that makes things shatter. She's pouring it all over the place, it looks like. Great. Um You gotta get in there. Wyatt, I need you to do something for me. What? I need you to break that window. Yeah! Smashes it with the butt of the gun. <laughs> or at least attempts to. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... Let's just... Hmm. I think this would... Let's just roll a tough. I'm not gonna make you roll kick some ass, because that means you would get hurt, and I don't really feel like you need to get hurt for this. That would be an 11. You break the glass. Okay. The next part... Oh, 10, I guess. So the glass okay. comes into the building and shatters all over the ground. Okay, this next bit, you're going to have to trust me. What? I need you to wiggle through the window. Okay. Once you're inside, make your way towards those front doors. Do not stop for anything. Take this. One sec. Frankie would be aware that he is in a holding cell. Yeah. How is he going to get through the holding cell to the front doors? Oh, is this window into the holding cell? I yes. thought it was like into that No, hallway. it's into the holding cell. Well, that doesn't help me. Um, I just don't want you to make the wrong decision here. Yeah, Wyatt was looking directly inside the cell. Okay. Um, I 
I can boost you up and you can try talking to Rachel here. If I jump, would I be able to at least get hold of the, like... Like, is there a ledge to the window? Yeah, especially now that it's broken. Okay. Um... I'd ask. I'd probably ask Wyatt to clear some of the glass before you do that. Okay. Um. I am going to. Yeah. Um. Wyatt, can you move any of that glass out of the way? Yeah. Hold on. Go. I'm gonna start pushing the. the glass in with the butt of the rifle. Okay, so the bottom is cleared. Okay. Um, I'm gonna let Wyatt come down, and I'm going to jump, and I'm gonna try and hoist myself up to the okay. window. And it is probably not gonna be graceful, but I'm gonna, like, stumble through the window into the holding cell. Okay. Um, I don't think there's a really rule for that, so you just do it. Okay. Um, uh, so let me paint a picture here for you. Uh, the monster is almost face to face with Elias. Elias is up to his neck in ice, and you see these spikes are starting to kind of penetrate through the ice that has been forming around him uh and you can kind of hear creepy whispers coming from uh the monster but you can't quite make out what it's saying um elias has a look of extreme fear on his face um you can also see that elias has been all of his clothes pretty much have been taken other than a like prisoner's outfit to make sure he didn't kill himself because he was told like the police were told that he was a danger to himself um and yeah uh the jail cell is closed there's a toilet sink um and bed okay oh god okay um Rachel. The monster cocks, it he cocks its head and stares at you. You don't have to do that. Uh, it Look, I know I kind of smacked you last time, but that was... I had no idea what was going on, and I was a little scared, if I'm being completely honest. Um, he was your friend. It gives you a uh, angry look and goes back to what it was doing. If I jump, can I look in the window? No, you're too small. I don't know how tall you are, but you specifically said you're short for your age. Yeah. Ah, however, however, there is rope in your pack. Um. Oh, I think I tucked her journal. I don't think I shoved it in my go bag. I think I had it like in my jacket at some point. Oh, I'm going to pull it out and just start reading entries. Okay. Hmm. Roll to act under pressure. I apologize. But this is kind of what you're doing. And that's cool that's cool. that's why i said okay. i apologize <laughs> what is it that 
Seven? That, that's a mixed success. That's not bad. Uh, so I'm going to give you a worse outcome, hard choice, or price to pay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Whose dog is that? Whose dog is inside this this police station? Uh, <laughs> Frankie just has a dog in their backpack. <laughs> that's that's in their go bag. <laughs> um. Okay. okay. She turns to look at you as you're reading, and I feel like. I know Frankie tries to give off this, like, I don't care about anything attitude, but I feel like they would be a little bit scared at the moment, based on what's going oh, on. No. Yeah, they are scared shitless at the moment. They're just trying to figure out what to do. Uh, so, it is going to as I stated, turn to look towards you. And it starts to look a little angry on its own as well. But in like a conflicted sort of way. Because as you keep progressing through the book, you start getting into like talking about Elias and doing this and doing this. Elias's ice starts going down and ice starts to form at your feet so you have a Can choice to make connection? uh what is your connection or or so action. did you take an action uh yeah. yeah um but this is still happening so if you continue to read the ice is going to start forming on you because sh she wants you to stop reading. However, you will save Elias's life by doing this. I'm going to keep reading. Okay. Uh, what is the action you'd like to take? We've got problems at the police station. I think Frankie needs help. So. She's in jail. The only one available is Maxine. How far am I from the jail? You aren't very, like I said, nothing's very far. You're probably about like, oh yeah, that's right. A five minute run. Um, which your character's in much better shape than I'm assuming we all are. And five minutes of running isn't going to murder us. <laughs> uh so uh you get that message the guys are still in the I'm woods gonna, i'm gonna start booting it over to the jail okay uh frankie you continue to read the look on her face gets more and more angry and you see shadows start to dance across the wall and it kind of looks like arms are starting to reach out of them as well um as that's happening i'm gonna try and flip to the entry that she wrote after her like last scene where it's like elias worries as i travel far further and to like start reading faster or <laughs> like shivering <laughs> Yeah, so she, uh, the, there's like all this sort of different action and like, you don't know if it's your eyes playing tricks on you because it's so dark in here now or whether it is actually happening, but you feel like there is a hand reaching out from the shadow towards the book. Can I take another action? Sure. I'm going to take my GoPro off my shoulder and chunk it in the um through the window all right frankie you see a gopro fly above your head and 
screw the bars onto the other side. Was it facing my direction at least? Sure. I'll allow uh, that. Okay. Um okay. Ma Maxine, Maxine, you get there. Why get out of here? No. Okay, so Maxine, so am you I... hear shouting coming from behind the police station. Okay. So I'm going to run to where I hear the noise. Okay. Uh, so once you get there, you see Wyatt outside. Uh, you see a window, around the gun. window broken above his head. Uh, and you see blackness inside the window. Okay. Um, so once I run out of stuff that's in that, I'm gonna just start spurting out things between what Charlie told me and the writings of Elias's and Elias, talk to her. <laughs> Um, uh, Elias uh, is beyond the mist, worlds intertwined, threads of cosmic t tapestry, uh, trees are sentient, interdimensional beings. <laughs> uh, Bananas, you're hearing, you're hearing that me. coming from the inside of the building there, Maxine. Is there something you'd like to do? Hey, can I, can I like zip around to the front instead because it's like i'm not going to be able to get in through the window i got nothing there's with not me. you can't get in through the front that has been established i got us in hold oh, on okay okay uh, um all right well then and frankie your eyes weren't playing tricks on you the book is wrenched out of your hand and thrown across the room And just as this happens, you see the shape of a person appear out of these shadows. And you feel it's cold, not icy cold like the being was, or like Rachel was, but you feel a finger press up against your lips. And then the being in front of you vanishes. Rachel then looks at you, smiles, and then she vanishes as well. And the room, the lights turn back on. Oh, also I'll you take two harm from that. <laughs> I'm going to throw the unloaded rifle through the window and then start pulling it back up with the rope to try to get it to brace against the window. Okay. Uh, how covered in ice am I? Uh, it started going down already, but it probably came up to about just below your chest. Okay. Am I able to see in the window? Because I'm taller than... How tall are you? I don't know. I'll say average height. I'll say 5'9". That's not average height for a I know woman. that. <laughs> That's average height for a man. Okay. Is there, is there something you need to me. know about Maxine? That's, um, that's average height for me. Anyway. Uh, no. That, like, Frankie had to jump just to grab hold of the window. You cannot okay. see through the window being four inches taller than them. Okay. So I'm yelling to Frankie. Frankie, can you hear me? Uh, well, Wyatt has done something that you can climb up the wall if you want to. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to crawl up then. Oh, no, he was trying to wedge something. Was, was he climbing yeah, up he, first? Yeah, he did it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'll hear you. climb up and I'm yelling Frankie's name, too. Yeah, I can hear y'all. Uh, Are you okay? Elias falls to the ground and is like shivering. He was in... Possibly no bag. In stages of hypothermia. Thus, with you yelling was there, at him, was there a bed? Really was there a Was there a bed in the room? Yes, bed, toilet, sink. 
Well, there should be a blanket. We grab a blanket. Yeah, well, the go bag has thermal blankets. I think that's what Frankie's looking for. Yeah. Okay, so we grab the thermal blanket out. I would wrap one, because I've got one too, so I would wrap you one around you Frankie You technically first. have three with you right now. Okay, I would wrap Frankie first, because they're cold as well. Mm -hmm. And then I'd wrap one around Elias. Okay. I'm gonna try Start and... Start rubbing their Same. arms and... Okay. So... Why, is... give me a hand. Rub, rub Elias and I'll Elias? rub Frankie. Are you okay? I can't get to Elias. He's in another cell. No, you're Isn't in he? the same, same cell. No, you're in the same cell. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's only one cell in the building. The window was into his holding cell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I misunderstood. No worries. I might not have explained it well. Uh, anyway, so all four of you now are in this cell. Uh, there's ice still, like, dripping slowly off the walls. Um, but it's light in here again. Um, and yeah, you just had a very close encounter. Frankie, did she throw the stuff on you too? Uh, yeah. It was the only way to kind of get her to stop going for Elias. Where'd she go? You guys can see through the holding cell into the front of the building and at the very front of the building you see a small window in the door like it's a steel door with like i would want don't want to say bulletproof glass but very strong glass and outside of the window you see her she smiles and you see the red eyes staring at you and then she disappears again and that's where we're gonna call tonight's game so where are the cops? They're not here. They just here. locked him up and left? Yeah, they took his... Any chance of him hurting himself Take away. his clothes. And okay. left him here. Because he's just supposed to sleep. Anyway, that's where we're calling tonight's that's game. That's not very good police work. Keeper. It's a small well, town. Well, in a town only has two people working in the police. What do you expect? Yeah, exactly. Like and maybe one of them doesn't even get bullets. Or maybe he just gets one, okay? Even in anyway, our small town, anyway, even in our small town, even in they our have small somebody town, come and watch. Even, even in our small town, we have like fifteen cops. Okay. So Bye. don't but even. They also have someone come and watch the drunk tank. Great. There's fifteen cops that can do it too. Anyway, have right. a good night, everybody, good and night. we'll see you all next week. Sure. Good night.